Hey everybody, this is Ten Plated. I'm Rob. I'm Sean. We're in a cathedral. It's Thief. Garrett's sneaking around. Uh, we're here to fuck up some cultists and steal their shit. I've got a 12 pack of beer, and you're going to sit there and watch me drink it. Okie dokie then. Ooh, guess we can go down this way. Yeah, let's go down this way. Someone dropped their coin purse. Because let's face it. That goes up. I deserve it. I, I suppose. Let's see where. Be careful what you say, friend. A supply lift. A rope. Looks like a way down. What supply lift? Oh crap. Alright. Wait for the torch to fade away. Come on, torch. Go the other way. Torch. 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 Fuck. Can't see. Hey. Nope. Surrender to the dawn. Um, I think I'm safe actually. The coward slipped away from there. Here's the thing I don't get. Hmm. We're Orion's buddy. Like, he has no reason to think we aren't with him through thick and thin for this. Well, remember, the last thing he needs is my eye. Exactly. So shouldn't he want us to come strolling in there peaceful and quiet like? Presumably he either A, didn't tell his people that, or B, knows the jig is up somehow. Because his brother, remember when his brother sent us out of the place, he said, good luck with my brother. That's so presumably he told him. Hmm. He said, by the way, your little thief buddy knows all about your plan. So he's like, well, he's hoping to do it the easy way, but well, fuck me then. All right, why can't I just... Okay, who sees me? Fuck do I get over there? Is this, it, ah, uh, I think there's a little rail there. Or ledge or or, or not. Oh, I've gotta go around. Shit. So I do have to go that way. Not so sure about this. Let's get up there. I don't I have no way to know when he turns around. If he turns around. Or if he's ever vigilant. Alright, I'm gonna do this. The dawn. What? Who made that noise? Hey? Oh shit. Some of y'all might be wondering why I'm not drinking out of my horn. Thief doesn't deserve uh. a horn. Okay, that didn't work. Thief barely deserves to be anything to be drank out of a dog bowl in front of it. Fuck you, thief. <sighs> Fuck you. Well, if you drink enough, I don't think you'll you'll have as much of a problem. Possibly. You'll feel better. Everything will be fun and joy and delight. I okay, need more than this 12 rope? pack. <laughs> Up here. Up here. Over to the rope. Supply lift. Looks like a way down. Does this let me climb anywhere, or just... Oh, there's a thing for another rope attaching there. I think I'm just gonna have to... No? Around here, then. Gotta be way up there. Do I have a rope arrow? Shit, I don't. No. I guess you lost that sawtooth arrow you picked up. No, remember, I didn't pick it up. I died. Right. You tried to pick it up and then he killed you. Or you picked it up and then he killed you, so you lost it. Well, that doesn't mean I lost it. It means I never grabbed it. Remember, it reverts to the checkpoint. So, the checkpoint was before that happened, so it never happened. Temporal semantics aside, at one point in one of the multiverse, Garrett had a sawtooth arrow. Look over there. Wow, that one guy just did not give a fuck about yeah, that noise. he is blasé about that. Oh, there he is. Oh. Please move, Garrett. Move quickly. 
If you're gonna brain a man, you really don't have to set him down gently. Um. Let's fucking move. Oh, that's not gonna work. Nope, nope. I didn't. Couldn't figure out where to go from there. Running like hell works if you can figure out where the fuck you need to go next. Yeah, because you're faster than they are by far. Yeah. Of course, all they have to do is wing you with a rock and thus ends your, your flight. Well, for us, anyway. The pit. Just let it happen. What? Who the fuck? Oh, that guy. The supply lift looks like a way down. Didn't alert them. Oh, he fucking came over here. Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, I can get to him on the other side so that he can't see me. There's not even anyone else over there to protect him. It's just a matter of go over there, brain him, and come back over here. Guess I can do that and then get back in the cabinet so I don't have to do it ever again. There you go. All right, here's a question for you, Sean. This yeah. one I was kind of saving for our podcast, but from being honest with you, I'm bored as fucking, you know, can be. What do you think are video games that were phenomenal but never got the kind of, like, sequel they deserved? Like the one-hit wonders of video games. God, well, certainly nothing recently. Anything that does remotely well gets eight sequels. See, for me, I think the best example of this, Psychonauts. My back's hurting. It was innovative. It was fun. It was imaginative. It was everything I looked for in a video game. And it got dick all. Yeah, barely got any recognition at all. But, I mean, it was Tim Schafer's, you know, last hurrah. Where was the fucking cabinet? Because I got those two, so I don't want to deal with them again. The supply lift. There it is. Looks like a way down. We are the grave and dawn. Checkpoint. We are the future. So what do you think? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't... I don't have a good memory for random disparate events like that. Ah. I mean, you're basically asking me to think through every game I've ever played and pick which ones I thought fit the criteria. Well, fuck that. I'm trouble. Well, you would just keep running. I don't know about that so much. It, it, sometimes you play a game and it leaves an impact on you. You know, you think, wow, that was a good game. Right, but if you don't have anything to jog my memory, the only thing I can do is go through the list of every game I've ever played. Um, another good one that I like that never got a, a real sequel is the Star Wars Shadow of the Empire game. The uh, Nintendo 64 game? The same. Well, what do you mean, never got a real sequel? I mean, that character, that plot line, and that gameplay style never show back up. Yes, you could say, well, there's plenty of other Star Wars games that came after it, but that's not the same. That that continuation of story with that character and that way of playing a game just never happened again. Am I still in the dark? I think I'm still in the dark. You are. See the corners of your screen? Boom. So that's one that I always thought deserved more more attention. What can I do about that guy? Throw a bottle? Yeah, but then that gets everybody all pissy and they start looking for me. Let's... Hit him with the bottle. I'm coming for you. Wow. There's a guy on the other side that's alert too. Let's get back here. Did Pilot Wings ever get a sequel? Uh, yes. Pilot Wings for the N Super Nintendo and Pilot Wings for the Nintendo 64. Ah. It was indeed a Pilot Wings sequel. I played the 64 one. I don't think I played the Super Nintendo one. Uh. Um, very similar games. Just, you know. They... One's 2D and one's 3D. Modernized it. No, they were, they were both 3D. I mean, you, you can't really have a flying game in 2D. Then it's just like a bullet hell. type. Yeah, it'd be like a bullet hell game. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I have no idea where that guy's going, so... Hmm. 
Donk. Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus was a sequel. It's a spiritual successor, I think, would be a better... No, same world. Same world as Ico. Not the same character. Doesn't matter. Not even the same gameplay style. Doesn't matter. It was a sequel. So, Stranger's Wrath is a sequel to the other Odd World games? Yes. Those are all the same universe. Same universe, but they're utterly unrelated. Stranger's Wrath... How are they unrelated? It's the same company. It's the same theme. Different characters, different plot lines. So so if it has different characters, it can't be a sequel? It's not necessarily a direct sequel, no. So you're going to tell me that, say, Star Trek The Next Generation was not a sequel to Star Trek? Well, that has to do with plot lines. No, tell, tell me how that's any different. Well, same, same universe, same themes, completely different people. Okay. But again, same plot or similar plot lines. Right, it's the similar. But with Stranger's Wrath, you could have you could have Stranger's Wrath without any of the other Odd World games, and it would be unaffected. That doesn't make it not a sequel. I don't see how you can say it's not a sequel. It's the same themes, it's the same world. It's the same fucking corporation, I think. The way I look at it is not with something like that. There's linear, you know, Harry Potter 1 and 2. And then there's tangent. It's we're in the same area, but we're over here now. And I think there's a difference there. How? The entire Oddworld series, both of the Abe's games, the Munch game, and Stranger's Wrath are all continuing the same world, the same progression. Fuck, Abe and Munch, I think, are mentioned in uh, Stranger's Wrath. I know Abe is. I don't Abe and Munch come from the same game? No. Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus, Munch's Odyssey, Stranger's Each Wrath. Built ah. upon the bones of the last. If these buried stones could tell their stories, I would And Munch's Odyssey is almost exactly the same as the Abe games. Side-scrolling, you can't really fight directly. But they're not the same characters. They're only linked because it's the same themes in the same worlds. Just because it's a different genre doesn't mean it's not a sequel. Then I guess it would be better to say there are different kinds of sequels. I suppose. Again, direct, this is day two of a three-day thing sequels, and then the, we're on the same planet, okay. but we're unrelated. Are any of the Zelda games sequels? <sighs> you know, that is a ridiculously complex answer that in canon involves multiple timelines. Mm -hmm. uh, I know some of them are, in fact, yes, actual, the same character sequels. Nope. Yeah. Um, all, all two of them. Yes. Two games are sequels. Yes. Everything else is not. Yes. Everything else is the retelling. I like to think of them as not. If we were talking about in storyline, in ride. canon, I like to think of them as not sequels, as just like the not multiverse quite. kind of thing. But if we're talking about actual games, I mean, the games themselves are fairly similar yes but right again it's it's complicated because i would say they're more the lateral sequels it's telling the story now what are you supposed to do here uh, i guess leap to that it's a long fucking leap which you make with these and then you've got your crazy fucking monkey tool back up. yep uh just like some of the mario games you know, I know there's fan theories that one of the Mario games is just a play about his adventures. Well, the, the are you talking about Paper Mario? No. Um, Super Mario World 2, I want to say. Yoshi's Island? No. There's one of them, one of the Mario games where 
the fan theory is it's a play because you can like go oh, backstage and some of the the land actually looks like set peats like like it's screwed in and shit. That's Paper Mario. No. Oh, are you talking about Mario Three? Yes. Okay. There's a fan theory that that's just a play about Mario's adventures. All right. But a lot of the Mario games, like Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine, are exact sequels because they go to the Isle Isla Delfino for vacation because of Super Mario 64. But Paper Mario does not necessarily is not a sequel to Mario 64. Because they don't have that direct connection. It's just another Mario adventure. Okay. So where's the fucking panel? I guess that's it. Right there. So. Um. Can I? Oh, come on. Get up there. You have a remarkably strict definition of sequel. <laughs> No, I just see there as being multiple kinds of sequel. Really? Really? How are you going to hide? Oh. If that had been something you could hide in, I'd have been pissed. No? You haven't noticed there's been two types of, uh, two types I have. of chests like that? I have. But yeah, I, I just see there's being multiple types of sequel. Like, this is a remake of Thief, correct? Yeah. Same character, same world, same gameplay style. I'd still call it a sequel. You would. Yeah. Interesting. It's the fourth in the series. Just because it's a reboot doesn't mean it's not a sequel. Perhaps in marketing speak it's not, but... Fuck that. In marketing speak, it's absolutely not. But I, I... I would not necessarily call it a sequel. That's just me. I'd call it just what it is. It's a reboot. Well, he's not going to need that. Because a sequel has to advance the plot pre-established. This takes all that, throws it out the fucking window, and hands you something new and different. Pretty much. Therefore, to me, not a sequel. Okay, thank you for turning around. Oh, why did you do that instead of leaping? I hit the leap button, but you decided not to leap, because... I don't know, you weren't feeling it? Didn't have the right vibe? Had a leg cramp. Your chakras weren't aligned? Hey man, that's serious. Oh man, it's putting me all the way back here. Ugh. Sometimes this game is super fucking liberal with the uh with the checkpoints. And sometimes it's fucking Ebenezer Scrooge. And it ain't even Christmas. Not a bit. I don't even get a, a lump of coal. I get the dust shaking out of the bottom of the bag. And that's coming out of your pay. I think that screeching noise is the fucking uh, zombies again. I don't imagine why they'd be here. Because. Let's see what's up here. I didn't go that way last time. A lot of light. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx the cat. Um... I forget what his game subtitle was, but he had a, a vacuum cleaner that could allow him to control time. It was an early Xbox game. This is back, he was called the Time Sweeper. He was Jinx the Time Sweeper. Okie dokie. Uh, this is back when the whole notion of temporal Ah, oh, damn it. Wow. Temporal manipulation was really big in games. I mean, they were making Prince of Persia's all the fucking time. And, yeah. You know, that was just the, the go-to theme for a little while. It was actually a good game. Uh, it got no recognition, nobody liked it, and nobody bought it. But it's a game that, that really deserved more than it got. Well, I thought the uh, the best Alien vs. Predator game was the one on the Jaguar. God damn. Yeah. Three things. One, you thought there was a good Alien vs. Predator. Uh, did you play the Jaguar one? No. Well, then. Really, you're going to try this one again? No, I'm seeing if there was another way to... Ah, right there. Oh, that would be the... I did oh, not... I didn't have a Jaguar. No one did. 
Save apparently for me. Apparently. Okay, well, let's just... <laughs> Alright, what game's got a sequel that you think they didn't deserve? Leaving out the 45 Calls of Duty, because I think we all agree upon that. I did not want to pick him up. Again, man, you're asking me these really broad questions, and I... I just don't... I can't off-the-cuff those, because the only way I can think of it is to go through every fucking game ever and... and analyze them. God damn it. There's nowhere for me to run other than towards him. I mean, for me, I think the fact that there's more than one Mega Man X game is upsetting. What was wrong with the Mega Man X games? I didn't like them. They're not Mega Man. Why? Well, for one thing, the, uh... You introduce non-Mega Man characters like Zero and Axel. So? Well, I don't want to play as Zero or Axel, but <laughs> what really set them apart was you were no longer dealing with the original problem, which was, you know, as few robots have gone bad. You're dealing with, like, uh, this whole complex thing about Mavericks and... It wasn't the it wasn't the bad guys I liked. It wasn't Cut Man and Guts Man and Elect Man. You know, it was. You really don't like when character characters get changed in a story. Not a fucking bit. You want to make Mega Man X? That's cool. Call him Android X. Don't relate him to Mega Man at all. Make your fucking game, but don't step all over Mega Man. But it was directly tied to Mega Man. Vaguely tied. What? It, Mega, Mega Man was still in it. Mega Man goes to sleep, wakes up. Years later, and they go, oh shit, you're the first Maverick. You have to become a Maverick Hunter. Go, oh, fuck. Go fight, you know, Iron Butterfly. Fuck you. Bring me a Lek Man. Well, so you don't ever want them to change anything? I want more Lek Man. So you just want more of the exact same thing. No innovation, no changing, just more of the same damn thing. Good change is fine. I didn't like the changes they make. I didn't like the changes they made to the style. He went from what was effectively a very simple character to they started adding all this fucking flair and... Well, it was a new system. It could support new stuff. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So what, you just wanted the Super Nintendo game to be the exact same thing, but with twice as many bits? Just Back like in the Asylum. They've Jesus. been changed by the Primal. Changed by like I said, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Superman 64, for example. Oh shit, there they are, you were right. Yep. Which, is one of them eating? I think so. Do we want to know what he's eating? No, we don't. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get over there. Let me try down here. Down there would be my thought. <laughs> really? He just swooped off the ledge. Whoosh. Oh, damn, that's irritating. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess I would be a Mega Man purist. Another, I mean, it would be like if Sly Cooper came back with a machine gun. The one time I have ever okay, seen... Okay, adding a machine gun to Sly Cooper is not the same as changing what kind of robot like you are and inventing a new plot. Changed by the primal. Changed the by fundamental energy. gameplay mechanic was the same. Beat quickly. boss, get new weapon. Beat boss, get new weapon. Isn't that the fundamental gameplay <laughs> mechanic for 90% of all video games? No. Ah, there it happened. For those of you wondering what that was, that was... Which cat? Ping or Milan? That's Ping. That was Ping, uh, who's been sleeping above our rig for... Why can't I come in here? A while now. See, wait. Did I come all the way down here just for a single fucking ring? I guess you did. That's some horse shit. Uh, okay, how about this? Jack and Daxter. Mm-hmm. You know what? Very... Very light, very kid friendly, very Spyro. Um, you know, you're just a plucky young kid and you're a slightly sarcastic sidekick. Off for adventure. Okay. Jack 2, you grow a goatee and some muscles and you've been tortured for a year. And Jack 3, you're just, it's Grand Theft fucking hoverbike. Fucking. 
can't see where to go from here. So what? Well, oh, there you go. Rope I don't arrow. have a rope arrow. Oh, well, that's a shame. So what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Mm, I guess you have to fight your way across the bridge or stealth your way across. There's no way to stealth. Then I guess I'd start clubbing a motherfucker. You can't knock them out. Get creative? I don't know. Well, guess it's time to go with the same plan we've been using. Balls out run. Unless there's somewhere down there. No, that's, that's just... That's where you just were. What about over here? Ah, oh, here's there a place go. to go. Throwable thing. Anywhere to go up? Or is that just a... Uh... I mean, I think Jack and Daxter and its series is probably the one time... Uh, fuck it, let's go. ...that I can say the whole gritty... Not even reboot, but just, you know, sequel. Really, really worked. Okay. Well, then that's sort of counter to your... But I'm saying that's the one time it worked. They pulled it off there, and every other time they've tried it, it just never really jived for me. Just like in the asylum. They've been changed by the primal. Uh, changed the by fuck? Aaron. I need to stop Orion quickly. Oh. You're caught. I have no fucking clue how to get past these guys. Hmm. There's too many of them to charge. I don't have a rope arrow. I don't see a place to get one. I don't see another way down. I don't see anywhere to go from here. Hey, it's Razor in the studio, everybody. Our newest wild feral cat that just decided to settle in. Yep. It's a real bastard when you're trying to cook, because he will sit there and meow, because he wants food. You say meow. I say shriek like the wailing dead. He, he seems to be a Siamese, so he's really fucking loud. I thought we determined what species he was. Yeah. Siamese. And you mean breed, not species. Breed, yeah. He was supposed to be something else. And he's like the perfect example of that yes, breed. Yes, uh, a point, a uh, pure point. It's a specific type of Siamese. Oh. I don't know much about cats. Is that... Can I go up there? No. Can I go up... Can you go in that door? No, there's no handle. Uh. All right, so we've got one guy eating. Yep. Two guys up there. The one guy eating looks distracted. I don't think he's a concern. He is a concern. But I think I got past him. You did. Okay, I'm gonna take a little risk here. Uh-oh. This uh, may come back to bite me. All right, I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. Then I'm gonna try to climb up that. All right. Somebody's got an eye on you, but yep, somebody's got an eye. That doesn't necessarily mean they have an eye on me, it just means they're slightly alert. Yeah, well his eyes are glowing now. Yep. Okay, see, he's going that way. When he comes back and puts his back to you, go over the edge and run up. Yes. Yeah, right now. I cannot do that. Ah. Wait, wait. This could be good. Keep going that way. There you go. No, no not this way. No, no, no. Turn, turn. There you go. Take off. Nope. Oh, fuck. Well, balls. Now, if it, one is, if it was one of those uh, little base gates like we get in the city sometimes, that'd be a... Oh, that'd be nice. Thing. Let me try... Where's the other one right now? Somebody's enjoying their man, witch. Don't throw it on the stairs. Throw it beside him. There you go. Now, if they will all go away from the door. Or just be more alert where you are. Fuck you guys. Ah, oh, god damn it. Why would he walk this way? 
Walk this way. Shit. Everyone else investigates wherever it crashes. Them? Nope. I guess because they're not human. Smarter than the average guard. They seem less, less intelligent, but I guess more cunning. I don't think there's any reason to try to go More down there. More animalistic. Nope. Oh, well, I slipped, so hopefully I can still get back up. Yeah, I can. All right, well, I know he'll walk away on his own. Oh, shit. Now might be your op your opening. No, the, the other guy's still up there. I got to wait for him to turn oh, around. Yeah. Come on. Keep going. Go away. Go down there with your buddy. Now. Now. You know, Garrett takes that very well in stride. Oh, I'm so glad they're not investigating that. Right? Why are they not? I guess they're just... Shoot! Go! Very blasé. Well, they're on your ass now. I don't think they can come through that hole. I surely hope so. Oh, God damn it! Didn't save, did you? I should save because I went through the door. I hope so. Well, okay, I'm good. All right, well, that looks like a good place to stop, and we'll pick up again next time. Bye, guys.